Hi guys, my name is Tina and my aim is to improve your drawings just like others have done for me when I just started out. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I draw white fur in pastel pencils. For the sake of learning and also because this is one of the hardest things to do, I'm going to show how I go about drawing white fur on white paper. I do have to add that if you have a toned paper to your disposal, it's wise to use it. Because of the ability that pastel can layer light on top of dark colors, you can use this toned paper to your advantage with the white fur. Now back to the subject at hand. We start by blocking in the colors for the underlayer. For these I'm using a darker beige and a lighter one. Where the fur is darker I use the first one and where my highlights are I am going over it with the lighter one. Then we blend everything out and you can see where we blended the two colors together we now have another tone on the paper. You can blend however you like, but I love to use the soft tool by Pan Pastel. This tool is especially handy on smaller areas like these. Once your under layer is in place, we can start adding some detail. My first layer is with a light creamy color, and because it's so light, it doesn't show as good in the video as I would have liked, but just keep adding these strokes in the direction of the fur and you will start to see them. Next up, we will add some strokes with a warmer gray tone. This is to increase the contrast on the piece. Keep in mind that you don't have to use the exact same pencils for this. You can use whichever brand you like as long as it is in the same color range and tone. When adding these lines, it's really important to follow your reference photo because they define the clumps of hairs you see in your subject. As you can see, I'm blending them out a little, just a soft touch goes a long way. I do this because I prefer a softer look, but you can also just leave it the way it is. Whichever way you choose to work is just fine. We want to add some contrast to the lighter area on the left as well. We just don't want to use the same pencil for this. You need to choose a slightly lighter color which blends in more with the underlayer on that side. Remember to pick a lighter color and use gentle strokes. You are not after the fine strokes here, just a mere hint of the color will go a long way in letting your piece look more realistic. If your piece on the other hand was more cooler than mine, just choose more cool colors like greys instead of the creamy colors I've used. Also, my reference photo is from a warm subject with not a lot of reflected light. If the fur you are trying to make is from a white dog sitting in the grass where you can clearly see some of the green in your subject, now is the time when you should add some green. Blue for instance, if it was a clear blue sky and so on. Now with all of this in place, this is the time when we are going to start adding in the white. Especially when working on white paper, you need to build up the other colors first so your white really shows up. Just add in these white hairs on top to finish off the piece. Always keep looking at your reference photo so you don't add them where the fur is more in the shade, since these white hairs are kind of our highlights. The white pencil I'm using, by the way, is the one from Karandash. They are the softest pastel pencil I've used so far, which makes them easy to add on top of other layers and still stand out very clearly. See, white fur isn't really that hard, right? Now I did also list the materials in the description for a complete picture, but you don't need to use the exact materials I've used. Just use whatever is available to you and try to match the colors and tones and you'll be just fine. The only thing I suggest you use is the pastel mud paper by Claire Fontaine. Little side note, I started in pastel on a different paper and it just didn't work for me. I wasn't happy with the way it looked and it didn't even enjoy working at the medium so for a good year I even laid down my pastel pencil and enjoyed colored pencil instead. Then I read a great article about pasta mud and decided to give it another go. And sure enough, I fell in love. Now I'm not sponsored or so, so I'm not being biased or anything. It's just that I found this paper to hold the layers of pastel the best. And if you are happy with the other papers, then just do your thing. Do whatever makes you happy. If you haven't already and you like my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I usually upload a video each Friday, but hit that bell notification if you never want to miss out on any of my videos. Okay guys, you've made it to the end of this small lesson. And to make sure you guys see what I mean, next week I'll be posting a tutorial of a white wolf. Thank you so much for watching and just keep practicing. Like Bob Ross used to say, talent is a pursued interest.